Hello, survivors of the apocalypse, Desert Rangers. Welcome back to Wasteland 3 and playing hardball and a bonus episode because you you will notice that there is no flesh prints around, right? And that is because we are doing the experiment the other way now, just to look at it, what you know, what happens. So let's do this. Going at the computer, I uh, unlocked the secret uh, room over here, as we've seen in the last episode. Open options menu, or oh, let's check machine status. There is unidentified genetic material, okay, and then let's open options menu. Warning, unidentifiable thing. Let's, uh, yeah, let's hope, uh, let's open the biomass hopper for visual check. Open. We check the biomass hopper and it looks like a flesh tumor hopped in there and got stuck. We could purge it or just see what happens. Now we purge it. So we purge this one, make it clean again, purge unidentified genetic mass. Warning, purging will destroy all genetic material in the biomass hopper. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Continue purge. Unidentified genetic mass purged, machine ready for clone synthesis. Request an undifferentiated pluripotent biogenetic material. No undifferentiated pluripotent biogenetic material in storage to acquire UPBG. Get requisition from Dr. F or retreat from former clone remains. So, so the thing is, the difference is uh, we can actually make something else with this computer there and this whole cloning facility. And we recall, right? So. Um, here, request DNA sample collection. DNA sample will be collected from next complete own iteration. There will be a three second scan before disintegration and collection. Warning countdown may cause clone to become aware of its impending disintegration. Do you wish to proceed? Yeah, it's kind of dark and unethical, right? But we want to do it. We need to do it because we are the rangers and we need help and pets. Did it work? It worked! I've successfully cloned myself! This is incredible! DNA scan in progress. Countdown to disintegration in three. Countdown yeah, the system to shouldn't have told. What? Two. No! Oh no! Turn it off! I... One. Quite horrible, right? And can we actually interact with that now? System not responding, please contact IT department. Okay, well. So, and then with this DNA sample. Did it work? It worked! Let's use the computer. Welcome to the Finster cloning. Computer, check machine status, standing by for clone synthesis, open options menu. Add undifferentiated pluripotent biogenetic material, lab assistance, reminder, unlike the iteration machine, this one is old and takes an hour to self-sterilize. Do not waste its time and our precious pink goo on frivolous experiments, Dr. F. Uh, yeah, let's open this hopper for another visual check, standing by. Now when we check the hopper, it's empty. Okay, request undifferentiated pluripotent biogenetic material. No undifferentiated pluripotent biogenetic material in storage. Um, why is that not working? So we have the vial now. Or do we actually, maybe we need to kill our clone? I'm not sure. What's with our clone now? Um, okay. Well, op let's open the options menu again. No, there was nothing, right? No. Hmm. Well then, no. so it oh goes no. darker Turn still. One. Everyone. Everyone shoot the clone. Who's actually who's the one the clone follows? Did it work? It worked! I've successfully cloned myself! Oh yeah, the tart ball, okay. So here we go. DNA scan in progress. Like this. Countdown to disintegration in three. Countdown to 
What? Two. No! No, no! Turn it off! Hi! One. So in there, the loot bag. So and there we always have the pink goo, right? Did it work? This lumpy quiz of mass of, of pink goo sometimes wobbles of its own accord. It's nasty. It's real nasty. So let's go in here. So and now something changed. Check machine status. Open options menu. Ah, yeah. Insert pink, undifferentiated, pluripotent biogenetic material. So this, so we get it from our clone. That's a prerequisite. Add optional advanced DNA. Yes. Create upgraded clone. Make clone with optional advanced DNA. Vial of advanced DNA lost. Pink goo lost. DNA scan in progress. Countdown to disintegration in three. Countdown to... What? Let's see what happens. No. Oh, no. Turn it off. Hi. One. Splashing. And we remember that talking with the old clone was always sort of a thing, right? There was some wisdom there. Oh ho. Uber clone. Okay, we have an Did Uber clone now. It worked. 87 to 127. This Evasion 52%, Constitution 1900, Countdown Status Effect Resistance 20. Countdown okay. What? Talking with you the Uber Clone. Oh, no. Okay. So she's actually saying the same stuff than the other one. And I wanna try out how she behaves in a fight. So let's get to a fight area. Uh, we're just ignoring this stuff. I think there was something here, right? Yeah, so this this was unfortunately... Oh no, that, that's not the right thing. Let's go here. Yeah, if we step in here, we have the conversation where we have the weird signs uh, level 10 option, which I want to have. And unfortunately, so I've done some research. Unfortunately... <laughs> For weird signs, uh, there's on, there's one skill book, and that's the one that uh, we know of. Um, it is inside of the container with the breathers in Aspen. So, if we wanted, we would need to kill the breathers, which would be an immoral choice because we sided with them and uh, they are peaceful, right? So, and I don't, I actually don't want to be the bad rangers. Yeah, so actually, we need two more levels to do that. Yeah, it is inconvenient, but maybe we need to do some grinding and drive around and be ambushed or something to get the experience, unfortunately. Or we uh, do it like here uh, during these levels here where there are infinite amounts of enemies respawning. So, but that's the problem. Uh, and then there's actually, there is only one item in the game that uh, that is providing a bonus like the other utility items here like this stuff here right all of this stuff there's only one thing uh, that can give a plus one bonus and we also not get that we are not getting that one because we made a choice uh, that is also locking us out of that one so unfortunately um, and that's a bit sad right so I think it was with the robots or something. We, we would have needed to kill someone, but we sided with them. So, and I have to say like off role playing, that's actually not such ideal game design. You know, that uh, basically if you lock your, that you can you lock yourself out, basically we've, we followed a good road, I would argue, um, and that you can, uh, <coughs> That you can lock yourself out like that, it's not Looks good, like in my opinion. It's a bit frustrating, but I mean, we, we just get now, the other... Uh, I'm just clicking here because we already read that. We take it from here. 
Let's start the comet. I want to just see how the uh, clone behaves. So that's what we do here. This episode uh, is just for the walkthrough. Um, an experimental thing, right? So let's go in here. For the fight, this is of course... Ah, there are people, good. Ready for Transcendence Test 27, Sister Autonite. I was... <coughs> Sorry. I was born ready, Brother Thorium. You sure? <laughs> You're not too sick to continue? I can take it. I'm gonna be an angel or die trying. Okay then. Now remember, think angelic thoughts and welcome the glow into your body like it was holy sunshine. Yeah! Give it to me! Hit me with that glow! Brother Half-Life, start the sequence! So that's the good radiation. Now's the bad one, though. Okay, well. So X. She's got the clone. The Z a lot. So let's go here like so. And shoot the guy. There. And I'm really curious how what the clone does. But I guess. Status report. All online cores are currently lowered. Please raise a power core to begin experiment. So, it's rally. It's rally everybody. And then we are actually shooting the guy. 69%. This one. 95. That's better. Oh yeah, and by the way, so let's have a look at these guys. There is holy radiation. Zealous. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. That's the thing. Where they continue fighting. So let's shoot the guy like so. Oh, we got lucky there. Very nice. Another one. Very good. Then I think Lucia... Got 236. Uh, that's too much. So X runs up and finishes him off. One, two, three, four, five. We attack. They are death delayed. And then this guy, oh, it's uh, 32k, so we run here to be reckless. Finished soldier. Nice. Oh, we shot one against the ton over here. Well, that wasn't too smart. And um, well, then let's run here. Cyclops. Prepares for the next turn. We are fine. Mouse. Uses the glass nux. What is What kind of stuff is this? A gunner. That's a warrior. He's got one of these electro axes. That guy is a marksman. Oha. Marksman we dislike, right? That's an evangelist. Oh. That looks like a guy who's actually using some form of fire spread or something or radiation spread. So let's actually mouse runs here and punches him in the face. Let's run there. Oh, 
also to improve our strike lead. Yeah, very good. We got lucky. Unfortunately, we didn't fill our strike meter, but it's fine. So we use the Shaolin attack now. Shaolin surprise. For some extra. There, very nice. 1,400. And... There are these axis hatches. And we are just preparing for the next turn. Like this. Exposing our th ourselves, of course. Lucia runs in. There. We are really reckless here. And yeah, and actually, let's shoot twice here with this one. We fill our strike meter there, very good. And then, yeah, she just stays there. Defending. Marshal Quorn. That's the gunner, yeah, well, the marksman will probably shoot someone. Marshal Quorn runs here. Free attack. Which we use against this guy, the initiate soldier. Oh, it's a woman, a lady. Well, we can't help that. Oh, she's got a crossbow. Well, it should have the head. They are very good. Crit. And then we've got another attack. Let's shoot this guy. And actually we shouldn't, cause that guy has 46 armor. The Zealot, Zealot soldier. So he's got four holy radiation, four levels of holy radiation. And he's also going zealous after being taken out. So like this, very nice. And auto crit now, thanks to our perk. Okay, that's good enough. Keeping a little bit of a distance. Yeah, and we are going here. And let's see what the clone does after they have messed up our party. You can stop me. Well, that's the access hatch. Oh, there are people coming out of there. Okay. And I think they just keep coming out of there. So this is actually a location for a relatively convenient way to level our guys. Huh? Although it's also pretty hard at some point, I guess. So where's the clone? There's the, the clone is up there. That's the clone up there. Uber clone. Punches, okay. 124. So it's basically, it's like the other clone. So I personally feel that it's kind of funnier to have this flash prince. Yeah. But that is actually... Uh, Hit okay. me again, heretic. I dare you. Actually, our, our little night terror has a lot of attacks. All online cores are currently lowered. Please raise a power core to begin experiment. Okay then, so and this concludes this episode. I'm not doing this battle right now because we are doing uh, this battle in the real Let's Play. But now we know what the Uber clone does. Uh, I mean, of course, it's always maybe a good idea to have a lady around, right? A blue lady. Uh, but she's got the same lines uh, to talk about. We know that, that the person who's cloning the clone or using the, the this pink goo um, and inserting it into the cloning mechanism 
that person gets cloned as well. So if it does, if it's a, a male like here, like our male guys, then it's a male clone. And if it's a female, it's a female clone like this one here that follows the, the ranger in question, right? But it's, it seems to have the same line. So I might, might have, uh, I should have probably talked more with it, but it had the same lines like a female clone. We already tried that out in the past episode when we got it. All right then, so thanks for watching. I hope you found this one funny. It certainly is. I like Wasteland a lot with the humor and everything quite over the top in some situations though, but uh, certainly pretty cool and certainly pretty, pretty spectacular. And yeah, what happens next in our Let's Play, we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. And well, if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. And look, there's a shiny like button and a beautiful subscription button. And if you haven't pressed those yet, please do so now so you can receive your portion of good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.